Have you ever thought about how to make a funnel build go faster for yourself and for your clients? Or to put into a snapshot to make it easier for your potential clients to edit and customize that website? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down something called custom values. My name is Pamela Dale, your GHL gal. Stay with me. If you would like to join me as well, I do have a new shiny 30 day free trial for high levels. So there's a link down below for you if you'd like. Getthistrial.com is also where you can go. So let's jump into custom values. What are they? Well, a custom value is a little tiny piece of code that works inside of high level. And the geniuses that thought this up when I was funnel building was not even possible. Didn't even know how to do this. So as I've been learning, and I'm sure you too are learning, and you're here because you'd like to automate a little bit more You've got clients that you are building websites for, say, for example, and they need to change out things like color codes, images. They need to change the privacy policy. Maybe they need to change out their Zoom link as well. So how would you go about doing that? What I want to do is give you a really brief introduction to custom values. There is so many possibilities and they can run through the whole system. But I want to touch on websites to start. It was the place I started so that I can start to understand them. So the first thing we want to do is we want to jump into high level and start creating some of those custom values. So I'll create a few and then you'll get a, the idea of how to continue to keep doing it for yourself. Custom values, you'll find them under settings on the left hand side and then you'll come here to custom values. You can see here that I've started a couple. I've got a background image number one and I've got a font color. I like funnel building with three to five colors. I like a font color. I like a call to action color. I like a headline color. I like a subheadline color and then like a like a random color. Sometimes I'll use it for backgrounds inside of different sections. And then sometimes I'll use images. So let's upload a few colors so you can get an idea of how to do this. So the first thing is the custom value. What I'm going to do is this is going to be my CTA color. And I'm simply going to grab the hex code for my call to action. And for me, it's this yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in right there. I've also got a background image. This background image I took from Google Drive. It actually doesn't work from Google Drive. So what you have to do is you have to upload the image to the media library. So we're going to do that quickly as well. And then another one we're going to do is the privacy policy. And this is usually a link outside of the system, right? You've got a privacy policy page on your website and you want to bring it over to a funnel or vice versa. So you can certainly go ahead and do that as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to media. I'm going to open this and I'm going to upload my logo. I've got a square, a rectangle, a favicon. I've got a background image light and a background image that is dark. So I'm going to bring in all five of those images. And the first one was a background image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to get the link. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go back to my, oops, I'm going to go back to my custom values and then where that background image is, I'm going to edit it. So you can see that these are easily editable as well. And I'm going to put dark here and update. And then I'm also going to add in a Babicon and a logo. So I've got a square logo and I've got a rectangle logo. We'll add in a square. So what you need to do for your customers is you need to have them upload the same way we have inside of the media library and grab the square logo link and we'll go back. So you may want to grab all of these at once. I will do square logo and add that value as well. And then the last one is I'd really like to grab the Favicon as well. So let's go back to media and I'm going to grab my Favicon here. Get link. And one more. Favicon and here's the value. And I'm going to go ahead and create that. So to add the Favicon, let's go here to Favicon. This is my custom value. So these are the values that I need. When you go to build out your template for everyone, 
you're simply going to add in that custom value. So let's go over into the website, custom values example here that I have, and I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna add in my Fabicon URL and I'm gonna hit save. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preview and you can see it's starting to pull. There it is right there. So it has pulled in that little Fabicon. Isn't that absolutely freaking brilliant? I think it is because everywhere that the logo is, inside of the funnel or inside of the whole site, as soon as I make a change to this image here and I would grab my, let's go back to custom value for the logo. I added a square logo, but for the sake of this example, we will understand that this is where it went to page two for the logo. There we are. Now I would put all of these on a notepad first before I got started and then I'm going to come in here to my logo and exactly where it says image I'm going to paste in that value there it is now I can make it quite a bit smaller because of course it's in the wrong place and I can go ahead and hit save now the moment that you share this with someone else they would come in and simply add in their image in those custom values and they don't have to come into the funnel to edit it. So let's change this background color. So let's go back and we had a color in our custom values that was a navy. It's our font color. But let's go ahead and just grab it for the sake of this example and we'll go back to our funnel and you'll be able to see that everywhere that I put this custom value is going to change the color. Here's my background color. Didn't find your color. I'm going to click and I'm going to put it right in here and I'm going to add color. <gasps> right? Freaking brilliant. It added the color in here as well. And all that you need to do moving forward is have you or your people, whoops, it hasn't saved yet, have you or your people add everything that you need into those custom values and you are absolutely laughing. It's a fast way to build a funnel. It's a fast way for you also to send snapshots and have them updated for your people, especially if they're not great funnel builders or they just really don't want to be bothered with that. They can quickly update a simple website very easily. Also, it's important to remember that you can also replace text. So if we had a custom value that was offer name, just say for example, and this was a 21 day challenge, and of course, we would probably spell it right, right? And maybe capitalize that puppy. There we go. And then create and then the offer name. So I just want to show you quickly how you can go about doing it with text. So let's go back to that site. And just say, for example, this is our headline. And we're going to hit save. And then we're going to preview 21 day challenge. And you know, you can even do it with your buttons, which maybe I wouldn't bother, but it'd be get an appointment. And then what is the custom value for contact first name? Well, all of these custom values you're going to see under the conversations tab. When you go to create an email, just say, for example, you can see that all of the custom values that you created are going to be here as well. But there are some very general ones of contact first name. So I'm going to copy this one as well. And we're going to go back into that site. And then on that button, what I could do is say, now it won't populate if it isn't already like on the second page of an appointment. So we might actually do that instead let's go back and if it would be after a form or something like that right this one here let's do it here we can say thank you contact first name and just like that we're going to hit save and we're going to hit preview so you can put it on a button as well but it does need to be able to pull that information so it needs to have been filled in somewhere so very, very powerful. What are the possibilities for you using custom values? How could you speed up onboarding for your clients? How could you speed up funnel building? Lots of possibilities. See you soon.